Saudi Arabia is going through a big construction phase, building massive projects like Oxagon, Trojena, and The Line. After a sudden pause in building the Jeddah Tower for more than five years, there are hints that they might start working on it again. The question is, what made them decide to resume, and what factors changed to make it possible? Also, Dubai is thinking about building an even taller structure. What's pushing Dubai to want a taller building, and how does it connect to Saudi Arabia starting construction again? Those are the questions that we are going to answer today. Simply put, the Jeddah Tower aims to be the world's first structure reaching over one kilometer in height. This skyscraper from Saudi Arabia seeks to surpass the reigning Burj Khalifa, which has held the record for the world's tallest building for over a decade. If completed, the Jeddah Tower could exceed the current record by 180 meters, assuming it only reaches one kilometer. Despite initial announcements of a minimum height of 1,000 meters, the actual height is a closely guarded secret, with early hints suggesting it might even approach a mile or 1,600 meters doubling the current record. However, doubts about the feasibility of such a massive building arose after soil testing on the site. The true height may remain unknown until construction is complete. Once finished, the Jeddah Tower is expected to house luxury residences, restaurants, offices, a Four Seasons Hotel, and the world's highest observation deck. The creators aspire to elevate Jeddah's global standing aiming for economic success similar to what the Burj Khalifa brought to Dubai. To trace the journey leading to this point, we need to rewind a few years. Designing the world's first kilometer tall building proved to be a challenging task. A design competition was organized, attracting some of the top architects globally. The winning design responsible for the breathtaking vision came from American architect Adrian Smith renowned for his work on the Burj Khalifa and other super-tall skyscrapers worldwide. Following the finalization of the design, the construction contract went to the Saudi-based Bin Laden Group with a $1.2 billion USD contract to lay the foundations for the Jeddah Tower. Kingdom Holding Co., chaired by Saudi Prince Al-Walid bin Talal, provided most of the project's funding. Construction commenced in 2013 after over five years of planning and bidding, progressing smoothly in the following years. By 2017, the main structure had reached 252 meters, and foundation and piling work were reported as fully completed, marking a significant milestone. However, in the same year, the chairman of Saudi bin Laden and the owner of Kingdom Holding Co. were arrested amid the 2017 Saudi Arabian purge, a series of mass arrests targeting prominent figures. Unlike projects like Neom and The Line, funded by the country's sovereign wealth fund, the Jeddah Tower is a private venture, heavily reliant on the financial backing of a few individuals. The arrest of these key figures had a detrimental impact on the project. Compounding the challenges in early 2018, labor issues with the contractor led to a complete halt in all structural work. Additionally, the COVID-19 pandemic starting in 2020 further dashed hopes for construction to resume. The combination of these setbacks has cast uncertainty over the future of the Jeddah Tower project. After a prolonged period of more than five years with no updates, it was revealed last September that construction on the Jeddah Tower is set to commence. The project's developer has taken the crucial step of seeking a new contractor to replace the Bin Laden Group. Invitations were extended to various companies from Saudi Arabia, China, Korea, and Europe, urging them to submit their bids for the contract. These invited companies have been granted a three-month window to formulate their proposals. Consequently, it is anticipated that the project will secure a new contractor at the earliest by the end of the year. While the exact reason behind the project's resumption remains unknown, we can make some informed speculations based on the available information and the timeline of recent events. First of all, the gradual recovery from the impact of the COVID-19 pandemic may be a contributing factor. With health protocols and restrictions easing, the constraints that previously hindered construction between 2020 and 2022 are gone. This relaxation allows contractors to deploy full-size teams of laborers on site once again. Another plausible reason could be the significance of the project for Saudi Arabia's reputation. The Jeddah Tower aims to rival Dubai's Burj Khalifa, 
and symbolize Saudi Arabia's engineering prowess by having the world's tallest building. If the project were indefinitely shelved, it could have reflected poorly on the country, leading to potential embarrassment. Abandoning such a monumental project was likely not an acceptable option for Saudi Arabia. A final reason for the project's revival may align with Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman's Saudi Vision 2030. Although the Jeddah Tower is not a government-led initiative, its goals align with the broader vision of creating job opportunities and positioning the country as a global business and cultural leader. If construction proceeds smoothly and without delays, there's a possibility that the tower could be completed by the turn of the decade, supporting the broader goals of Saudi Vision 2030. While the Jeddah Tower stands as an impressive structure, it is just a part of a larger mega-project known as the Jeddah Economic City. This massive development aims to rejuvenate the port city, famous for its resorts and historic districts. Positioned strategically by the Red Sea coast, just north of the King Abdulaziz International Airport, the planned city is set to become a significant tourist, religious, and economic hub. Covering a vast area of 5.2 square kilometers, the Jeddah Economic City is expected to cost up to 20 billion USD with substantial funding from private investors and loans from Saudi banks. At its core is the Jeddah Tower, a colossal skyscraper symbolizing Saudi Arabia's engineering and economic capabilities. Construction for Stage 1 of the city is well underway, with recent reports indicating that road network and landscaping work is 90% complete. Despite the controversies surrounding the arrest of the project's owner and main financial backer, Prince Al Walid bin Zalal. The recent developments with the Jeddah Tower have significant implications for the rest of the world, particularly for neighboring Dubai. Dubai, having held the title of having the world's tallest building with the Burj Khalifa for 14 years, might not be thrilled about the news of the Jeddah Tower resuming construction. Losing this record to a neighboring country is likely not an ideal scenario for Dubai, considering how the Burj Khalifa has played a pivotal role in transforming the city into a tourist and economic hub. Furthermore, Dubai's ambitious plan to build the world's first kilometer-high structure, the Dubai Creek Tower, faces a challenge. While it would still be the tallest structure ever made upon completion, it doesn't qualify as a skyscraper since less than 50% of its height is habitable, classifying it as a supported tower. Therefore, the record for the tallest building would still likely go to Saudi Arabia with the Jeddah Tower. The race to build taller structures is evident in the global competition between these two projects. Both the Jeddah Tower and the Dubai Creek Tower face delays due to the COVID-19 pandemic. And interestingly, as Saudi Arabia announced the resumption of the Jeddah Tower, Dubai revealed plans to redesign the concept behind their tower, suggesting a potential resumption of construction. This rivalry could spur a broader trend of competing to build taller structures worldwide. If either the Jeddah Tower or the Dubai Creek Tower is completed, it could trigger plans for an even taller structure from the other party. Additionally, other regions around the world might be inspired to join the race, with the potential outcome being a continuous push for increasingly taller buildings. The question remains, will the Jeddah Tower finally be completed this time around? What are your thoughts about it? Feel free to share your opinions in the comments below. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for the next video.